So, Carlos, tell me, what do you think about... Uh, do you know NATO? Yes, I know NATO. How do you view it? I view it as an important organization in the international security, uh, in the international stabilization of the, um, the international relations and of the, of the, the international scenario, and the, the relations between countries. Why is that? Why is that? Well, because... Because it has, it has. Why? Why? What? Sorry. Uh, why is NATO so important to, in, to the international community? Do you think? Well, on one hand, you have the, um, you have the, the the role in the international peacekeeping. Mm -hmm. Not 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 by showing the force, but uh, the force and its capabilities, but by the soft power that it represents. So you think NATO is more than a political organization? Yes, it is. How, how would you view NATO's further expansion in the, the in the future, in the near future? First of all, I view it as necessary. Why is that? Because NATO was created in a specific in a specific area and with specific demandings. Mm -hmm. We all know NATO's history, so I'm not going to to, to explain it. Uh, but now threats grow larger and grow, and, and grow, grow global, mm -hmm. so it's necessary not to maintain it um, to maintain its origins, like the countries, the, the countries that originated NATO, but also other countries that view NATO as a, a mean to secure their areas. I'm talking about regional expansion, of course. South uh, uh, to the east, both. I think first. Most important south to the south of Africa, mm -hmm. African countries, because of its geopolitical importance, mainly in the narco traffic. Just uh, out of curiosity, do you have a, a leader that you you think was very important to NATO, say Churchill, Thatcher? Uh, I think Churchill. Churchill, yeah. because uh, so I'm going to just talk about. Um, during, during one of his speech about the creation of the United Nations, mm -hmm. he said that the, um, we're, we're going to understand now. He, he said that uh, it was important to global stability. He was talking about the United Nations. He, it was important to create regional blocks of influence, mm -hmm. and he said that about the United Nations. So, talking about NATO, it was a block, a regional block of countries um, that survived. And had mechanisms to adapt to the new, to new, to new the globalization. So it is important that we maintain the spirit of Winston Churchill and try to further increase the, um, further increase the cooperation with other non-NATO countries. And who knows, in integrating on, on NATO these countries, it's, it's important and in, it's in the, the spirit of Winston Churchill's words.